all right maybe we're okay i'm still kind of paranoid because i don't really understand why she started barking out of all of the time she could have barked she wanted to choose this night to fucking bark i didn't know what the fuck was getting ready to happen i had no clue i didn't know who that was what it was i had no idea Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Miss Angelie TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like a bitch just been a sneaky bitch all her life, I guess. As y'all can see by the title, I'm gonna be talking about the time where sneaking out went completely left. <laughs> but before I get into the video, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss out on my videos and also hit that notification bell. That way you can keep up whenever I post my videos. Although I have a schedule, I post every Sunday, but sometimes I'll post early or post a bonus video or pop-up video a surprise video you know all of that good stuff so you need to hit that notification bell but because youtube be tripping 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 y'all know i say this all the time you also need to follow me on all of my social media okay y'all so in this video i'm gonna talk about two times that um sneaking out went completely wrong for me so the very first time sneaking out went wrong for me before i actually got caught i was sneaking out and in for quite a while like it was it was a good little minute i was a faithful sneaker outer and a sneaker inner so we're gonna call this particular guy let's call him chocolate okay i used to sneak chocolate in the house all the time we went to the same high school like he would always come to the house like right before school i wouldn't go to sleep till about five o'clock in the morning even though i would wake up an hour later for school just because he would be around and being that he was sneaking in i wouldn't really feel comfortable going to sleep while he was there even though he would go to sleep so i would just be up looking stupid until he left i have to stay on my p's and q's just in case i got caught now if y'all been keeping up with my stories y'all know my mom would have a curfew on my phone i wouldn't be able to make any phone calls or send out any text messages past a certain time because my mama just wasn't having that shit but i did have an ipod touch and this is around the time where those were really really popular and of course I had Wi-Fi too so ain't nobody was stopping me and I downloaded the texting app on my iPod as well so once my phone turned off my iPod turned on it was on the popping until I went to sleep honey because she wasn't stopping me like as long as I had Wi-Fi she wasn't stopping me period this particular night chocolate decided to come through it wasn't nothing unusual because like I said he would always sneak in sneak out and you know we had good vibes like it was cool we didn't have no problem the way that i would do it is right before i know he about to pull up i'll open my window leave my window open so it's already be open because you know it, it takes me a little while to kind of like silently open a window and then silently close the back so i just had it all pre-prepared before he made it you know and so this night came i would always have my tv a little bit higher in volume just in case when i had a dog who would just bark at every single thing as you getting ready to see in this story time and i just wanted to be sure i kind of like blended in you know with the noise we were chilling laying down watching tv and all of a sudden y'all my dog starts barking at my fucking door why was she barking at my door i have no idea i have no clue but she just started barking and we weren't talking that's the thing about it we weren't talking we weren't making any noise we were strictly just chilling there was no reason for her to start barking a lot of other times she could have barked or had a reason to bark the bitch didn't bark but the bitch wanted to bark tonight and that's where this story goes wrong she stops barking after a little while okay all right maybe we're okay i'm still kind of paranoid because i don't really understand why she started barking out of all of the time she could have barked she wanted to choose this night to fucking bark after she simmered down suddenly i noticed my door slowly open not all the way though it was just a little crack bitch it was a crack y'all know how y'all peeping in somebody door you're not gonna open it all the way and so that's exactly what it was but because it was dark outside and also because the lights were off in the hallway i couldn't fucking see shit all i could see is a crack and some black black and crack like i just froze i didn't say anything i didn't do anything and say mess chocolate like he didn't say anything he didn't do anything we just was froze like froze as fuck and then suddenly the door closes now bitch when that door closed let me tell you something i say you know what chocolate pack your shit get the fuck out of here because the bitch don't know what the fuck is going on do we have ghosts or whatever like ghosts do we have ghosts i'm not feeling this you gotta pack your shit and go he didn't much have nothing to pack but still whatever he had to pack like his 
keys, cactus keys, and get the fuck out of my room. Because I didn't know what the fuck was getting ready to happen. I had no clue. I didn't know who that was, what it was. I had no idea. So after he leaves, I still silently close my window, even though probably it wouldn't have made a difference, as y'all getting ready to see. I lay back in the bed, fucking nervous and shit, because I still don't know what it is. Nobody said anything. So what the hell? Then all of a sudden, I get a text message from my mom. And she says, whoever that is in my house has five seconds to get out or I'm calling the cops. And you know what I text her? Already done. Let Nevaeh do anything like this. It's not going to be no, oh, I'm going to close the door so I don't make a scene and send her a text type of shit. I'm beating ass. I don't give two dams, don't give two fucks, two shits, none of that. I'm beating ass on site because you got me fucked up. And this is what I'm really, really nervous about as she gets older because I know a bitch was sneaky as hell and I refuse. You understand me? I refuse to go through the same thing that my mama did with me, with her. Like, I wasn't the worst child. I was just sneaky and fast. I was a little hoe. You know what I'm saying? The next morning came and I assumed she was embarrassed to like say anything to Rough Rider, which is her girlfriend, my mom's secret girlfriend or whatever um because she didn't say anything to her about it she took my phone i didn't have it for probably about a month it really wasn't a real punishment because i was still able to watch tv that was really all i did anyway was watch tv i don't feel like she took my ipod why because i don't think she knew exactly how much i was actually able to do with my ipod nevaeh if you're watching this you got me fucked up okay yeah that was that we never had a conversation about that ever again afterwards and that's the weirdest thing about it y'all know how parents and you, you get in trouble your parents have a lecture lecture you talk to you but i didn't do none of that it's like that happened she took my phone i got my phone back and we never had a conversation about what it was or why it was and what it was doing and how it was doing it like we was not we didn't talk about any of that we didn't talk about the situation at all whatsoever my mama was too soft on me because girl and then the second and last one y'all this is when my sneaking out days really came to an end after all this shit you know died down i got my phone back and stuff uh, i met this guy at the mall like me and my friends used to always go to the mall and just you know be walking around knowing that one we had no type of money and no type of coins like we didn't have money to eat we just wanted to get out the house and walk around look cute and try to get some numbers basically i met this particular guy i'm not gonna give him a name because this story is really really short but i met this guy and um we were texting and talking for a couple of weeks and then he finally decided he wanted to see me in person again because i hadn't seen him since the very first time that i met him which was at the mall and so he was like, yeah, I'll come through, I'll come pick you up. So in my mind, I'm like, oh shit, I ain't sneak out in a long time. You know, let me, you know, let me go ahead and, and rebrand my sneaking outness. Let me go ahead and start it back up. Let's get this ball moving again. It's time for me to, you know. So he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come through. I was like, okay, text me when you're outside. Because whenever he said he was outside in the front of the apartments, I was gonna put my window up and walk my fast ass up out of there. So I got myself ready, y'all. I was ready to go. He finally texted me and he was like, I'm outside. I was like, okay, cool, back. So, you know, I put my stuff on, pull my curtains back, tie them up, tuck it by the bed, do the whole shebang, just getting prepared to dip out. As I opened the window, I unlocked the window and opened the window. I am opening the window and whenever I get halfway through opening the window, there still was a whole screen on my window. A whole screen. Like, my mama was not playing that shit. I guess my mom called the apartment complex and was just like, a bitch need a screen for my window because my daughter is a hoe. I'm pretty sure that's what it was because I was not going nowhere. Like, it was no getting out that bitch. I even tried to see if I was able to like, you know, pull it or do something. Hell Oh, no i was not able to do nothing and so i had to unfortunately break the news to the guy who was sitting outside waiting for me to come out um, i forgot what i told him i told him something though he didn't really seem too mad towards me about it but i know for a fact he had to have been mad yeah and that was the very last time i ever tried to sneak out the house <laughs> So the next apartment we stayed upstairs we had a townhouse so i definitely couldn't sneak out that bitch and if you enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed recording it go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because i want to know that y'all liked it so if you have any similar stories don't forget to put it in the comment section because y'all know i'm a nosy bitch i'm a nosy bitch and i want to know y'all tea i want to know what happened to y'all and how y'all got through whatever the fuck happened and i guess i'll see you guys next week bye